Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how barrels impact bullet velocity for all of the Cold War rifles. This is something I've been asked quite a bit, even before yesterday's video where we took a look at the stoner and we found out that the cavalry barrel increases the bullet velocity by 80% while these other barrels do not. Obviously there's a lot of factors that we can look at when it comes to barrels, whether it's recoil control, aim down sight speed, or strafe speed, but today's video we're gonna specifically focus on bullet velocity. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, looking to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on by hitting the red subscribe button and ringing that bell. On top of that, G Fuel is still currently 30% off using code JGOD at checkout or just that link down in the description. Let's go ahead and get into it and kind of show a little bit of how I tested this. So pretty straightforward test here. All I do is I have a fixed location and I'm at a fixed distance of 497 meters. I fire the bullet and basically I have the ammo right here where it shows how much ammo is there. We go ahead and start the timer as soon as that goes from 26 down to 25. And then we look at this tracer and see how long it takes for it to disappear. So when it comes to the Groza, for example, you can see that right here, I can go pretty much frame by frame. Right now the ammo is sitting at 29. And it's a little hard to see because it does make it a little bit smaller, uh, but you can kind of see that the, the ammo goes from 29 to 28. Then we see a visible tracer come out of the weapon, and that is where the realistic bullet is supposed to travel. As soon as it hits the object, it disappears, and then a puff comes out of the actual object. And this happens, this just happens to be where I like to test it just because it's very clear. The distance is always the same. I can keep my equations the same and it makes it really easy. And you can kind of see that little bit of a tracer right here. There's a little bit of a dot still there. And then as we go, it disappears. So it goes from being visible to invisible. If I go back and forth, you can see that dot flicker there. And that is where that, that bullet velocity is measured. So you measure it from the instance that the, the ammo goes from 29 to 28. And basically that disappears. And the distance between those two points gives you a time. That time you measure it out against the actual distance. And you can measure meters per second or bullet velocity in this case. As you can see, I went through and I tested this for all the barrels all the weapons in terms of the rifle category and we come to some pretty fixed conclusions keep in mind that i am testing all of this at 60 frames per second so there could be a little bit more precision by doubling the frames to 120 or 240 it's just a lot less practical until they actually fix some of these because as you'll see it's pretty clear that some of these are not doing what they're supposed to as we've seen kind of a common trend with Cold War weapons. So what I've done, and I'm gonna go ahead and link down in the description, you'll have an access to this, which I'm gonna plan to update over time. Um, I just started with the rifles. I was kind of putting it off because I thought, hey, you know what? There's no way they're gonna leave things the way they are, but obviously with their current pace, they haven't talked about anything. So I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of test it. And if they end up changing, I gotta go back and retest. It is what it is. But we can see the XM4 has a bullet velocity of sub 500, which is incredibly low. And then pretty much none of the barrels help it out. And you can see these ones that are kind of highlighted a little bit of pink, um, that they are even reducing the bullet velocity by about 21%. We got the same thing with the Groza. Um, we did the testing. Only these bottom four seem to impact bullet velocity. Um, the same thing what we got over here. We got negative bullet velocity, so it keeps it pretty straightforward. And then I also have the stoner in here. I'll add more weapons as I test them. Obviously, I've tested other things like we figured out the titanium is the best one. But I'm going to go back through and retest every single barrel from the same spot so we can get some pretty consistent measurements across the board as to what the bullet velocity is. So when it comes to the FFAR, the QBZ, and the Krig, if you're looking just for best bullet velocity, the Ranger is going to be the way to go. Task Force or that last one, the CM b mil spec looks like it helps out by about 51 percent similar to the contour kind of even there they're probably just different attributes in terms of range recoil other stuff that we didn't test but this kind of clears it up uh, as to what barrels are helping out the most also when it comes over here to the groza groza kind of in line with those and so you kind of see the xm4 and the ak-47 have their own issues but i'm sure we're going to have plenty of anomalies when it comes to other weapon categories like the stoner where we found out that the cavalry is about 80% better bullet velocity attack on the agency suppressor. 
uh, we're going to get some different uh, results. So let me know down in the comment section, are there any other categories of weapons you'd like me to prioritize so I could go ahead and start on those ones first, considering there are a lot of weapons and a lot of attachments. If you did enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, just double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Also, quick reminder, my G Fuel is still 30% off with link in the description or just code JGOT at checkout. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.